I've been seeing a lot of table content nowadays in a post. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a table of content in HubSpot. So without further ado, let's begin. One, two. Okay, so I just want to share with you this table of contents that I did. Um, and also just an FYI, this list in here are dynamic and it is dependent on the headings that you put in onto your blog. So that's really actually how the table of content works. So just letting you know, you don't need to type in everything in here. It should be, it will be dependent on the headings you put in and yeah, if you like this kind of design, feel free to follow along and this table of content as well should work in any kind of platform, um, whether WordPress or, you know, HubSpot or even independent HTML page, um, the code of, that I'm going to provide with you should work. So I actually already have put in all the codes and I just want to explain it with you. And I will also create a tutorial for the WordPress version if you are using WordPress. So um yeah i'm gonna create a separate tutorial for that okay so first is you need to open up your template for the inner blog post in hubspot and that can be done by going by clicking this hubspot icon and clicking the edit post template okay and if you are using the drag and drop um this is how it works if you are using a like an html thing just look for the um the um what do you call that hubble for the blog content okay hubble for the blog content thing okay and then we will need to edit the edit post template not the edit listing template again so we'll edit this one we click this edit post template and then we need to create an empty div to hold our table of content, this one. So the empty div is, but before that as well, we need to have an empty, um, an empty div and two empty divs as well that has an ID. You can use whatever ID you want. So I've used console and for the table of content, I've a use a TOC, which stands for table of content. And this div class branding border is just an optional, which I just put it in here because this is our brand, um, branding. We have rainbow blocks color, but you can just put in just an empty, you know, even just an M if you don't want to put in a table of content word, you can just have two empty div with an individual ID. So once you're ready, created an empty string into your table of content, we can then put in the JavaScript. Again, I'm going to put everything in the article version. So check out the link description below. So I have open uh, like, you know, an opening script, you can actually put in um, what you call that script style. But this one would work already. So script opening and closing script and then just put this over paste copy paste this one again i'm going to put this one in the article version so once you already have that and by the way um if you're planning to change the um the, the id name just change this over in here anything about about toc so you can change that but yeah so once you're ready paste that of course you need to save it okay so yeah so once you've already added the script don't forget as well to put in a div inside the blog post hubble um in here let me just scroll down just maximize the editor okay um blog 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 where are you blog okay so here there is a blog content post. This is the this is the Hubble that calls the body of the blog, and I created um, two version of it because if so, because I mean when you try, I have problem earlier when I did not put an if else statement for 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 the Hubble of post blog. I cannot edit the, 
the body pose so what i did is i set up an if else statement so if it is an editor or if it is opened or viewed in an in the page builder of of housepot this one then i just want to call the content post body else if it is a else if it's not an editor they view it in here in in the, the viewers mode then i wanted to insert a content post body with a div id of contents so this contents id will um will grab data from the body so it will scrap headings from the body like this one or this one so it will be reflected into the table of content okay so that's why we need to hold or we need to wrap the post body hubble to a id called content i hope that makes sense i hope i explained it i try my best to explain it but yeah this one this floating in here this this left side in here um it's a css thing so once we already have the script we can then design that because the default style of this table of content should be in here above the um post where i put in this um empty div so what i did is went in the um what do you call that um let's just go back in here so i go into the master styles and you can even put that in in different um styles you can even put that into the edit post template and just create you know an opening and closing style you can do that or if you want it to be cleaner then put it on the dot css okay and then this is the code that i um use the toc so this is the code basically this one is just for the styling thing and the this table of content thing is i actually position that into absolute I believe let me double check it um yeah let me just show it to you um here actually hold on let me inspect the elements because i know i designed this one so yeah i i change it to position fix so originally it is it looks like this so the design is looks like this originally but yeah um i want it to be like something um like sit in the side area where the table of contents normally place in um we can also make this float but i'm not sure if i'm gonna make this one floating let me know if that sounds um cool for you guys or you want me to come up with a different tutorial for that let me know but yeah that's how it works and again i'm gonna create an article version for this so you can copy paste the code and if you have any question don't forget to comment down below or if you need help or assistance email me i'm gonna put in the link description below how you can contact me and yeah hope it helps thank you and have a great day